my name is Lauren Ingersoll, and I'm the director for the Black River Area Community Coalition, also known as BRAC. BRAC started about 20 years ago, uh, based out of Ludlow, and we are a substance misuse prevention organization that serves the towns and school communities of Ludlow, Plymouth, Mount Holly, and now Chester as well. BRAC is working with Green Mountain Union Middle School and High School, hoping to bring resources and support from the community to the school, to the students, to families and parents, school administrators, to build resources and awareness around substance misuse prevention. Right now, vaping is a huge issue among youth and it's been on the rise for the last few years, working its way down to middle school students. There's been a lot of campaign efforts focusing on kids at younger ages now to try to bring education around these uh, substances that are extremely prevalent right now. And um, we're trying to just organize and mobilize the schools and the towns to work together to um, address this issue as a community. And it's never a one size fits all. So every school is different. Every community body is different, having their own unique assets and barriers to tackling this. BRAC really looks forward to being more involved with Green Mountain since we have a lot of kids from Ludlow and Plymouth and Mount Holly coming here as well. So it's been, it's been great to see all these organizations coming together and kids walking around and um, checking out all the displays and people handing out information and um, engaging with the, the students and the parents. To any teens or youth that are struggling with uh, substance misuse or addiction, uh, I would want to just say I hope that young people recognize that there's, there's barriers to seeking help right now and a big one is stigma. I think what we're trying to do is bring recognition towards the fact that there's so many resources out here in the community that are accessible and uh, who want to help. And it's really just about like, how do we create the easiest way for young people to seek that help? And how do we end the stigma around seeking that help? Because mental health is a big part of that. And I feel like if everybody felt like they could talk about their, um, their personal issues or their mental health concerns, then that would provide a huge safety net for uh, kids to seek support that they need. If you have enough protective factors, for example, you know, family support, you know, a creative outlet, if you have friends who you can talk to, if you have a caring adult at school that you feel comfortable coming to, all of those things play a huge role. And just keeping that normalized, like that conversation normalized, is going to have a huge ripple effect, I think, going forward.